Bisphosphonate, Wikipedia article audio. Bisphosphonates are a class of drugs that prevent the loss of bone density, used to treat osteoporosis and similar diseases. They are the most commonly prescribed drugs used to treat osteoporosis. They are called bisphosphonates because they have two phosphonate, two groups. They are thus also called diphosphonates. Evidence shows that they reduce the risk of fracture in postmenopausal women with osteoporosis. Medical uses Postmenopausal osteoporosis Bone tissue undergoes constant remodeling and is kept in balance by osteoblasts creating bone and osteoclasts destroying bone. Bisphosphonates inhibit the digestion of bone by encouraging osteoclasts to undergo apoptosis, or cell death, thereby slowing bone loss. The uses of bisphosphonates include the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis, Paget's disease of bone, bone metastasis, multiple myeloma, primary hyperparathyroidism, osteogenesis imperfecta, fibrous dysplasia, and other conditions that exhibit bone fragility. Bisphosphonates are used to treat osteoporosis, osteitis deformans, bone metastasis, multiple myeloma, and other conditions involving fragile, breakable bone. In osteoporosis and pagets, the most popular first-line bisphosphonate drugs are alandronate and rhizdronate. If these are ineffective or if the person develops digestive tract problems, intravenous pamidronate may be used. Strontium ronalate or teriparatide are used for refractory disease. The use of strontium ronalate is restricted because of increased risk of venous thromboembolism, pulmonary embolism, and serious cardiovascular disorders, including myocardial infarction. In postmenopausal women, the selective estrogen receptor modulator raloxifene is occasionally administered instead of bisphosphonates. Bisphosphonates are beneficial in reducing the risk of vertebral fracture in steroid-induced osteoporosis. Bisphosphonates are recommended as a first-line treatments for postmenopausal osteoporosis. Cancer Long-term treatment with bisphosphonates produces anti-fracture and bone mineral density effects that persist for 3-5 years after an initial 3-5 years of treatment. The bisphosphonate alandronate reduces the risk of hip, vertebral, and wrist fractures by 35-39%, zoladronate reduces the risk of hip fractures by 38% and of vertebral fractures by 62%. Rhizdronate has also been shown to reduce the risk of hip fractures. After five years of medications by mouth or three years of intravenous medication among those at low risk, bisphosphonate treatment can be stopped. In those at higher risk 10 years of medication by mouth or six years of intravenous treatment may be used. Other Bisphosphonates reduce the risk of fracture and bone pain in people with breast, lung, and other metastatic cancers as well as in people with multiple myeloma. In breast cancer there is mixed evidence regarding whether bisphosphonates improve survival. Bisphosphonates can also reduce mortality in those with multiple myeloma, breast, and prostate cancer. The risk of esophageal cancer increases with 10 or more prescriptions for oral bisphosphonates over a five-year period. In Europe and North America, the incidence of esophageal cancer at age 60 to 79 is typically 1 per 1,000 population over five years, and this is estimated to increase to about 2 per 1,000 with five years use of oral bisphosphonates. Adverse Effects Evidence suggests that the use of bisphosphonates would be useful in the treatment of complex regional pain syndrome, a neuroimmune problem with high MPQ scores, 
low treatment efficacy and symptoms which can include regional osteoporosis. In 2009 bisphosphonates were among the only class of medications that has survived placebo-controlled studies showing statistically significant improvement with therapy. Common Bisphosphonates have been used to reduce fracture rates in children with the disease osteogenesis imperfecta and to treat otosclerosis by minimizing bone loss. Long-term risks other bisphosphonates, including madronate and oxidronate, are mixed with radioactive technetium and injected, as a way to image bone and detect bone disease. Oral bisphosphonates can cause upset stomach and inflammation and erosions of the esophagus, which is the main problem of oral and containing preparations. This can be prevented by remaining seated upright for 30 to 60 minutes after taking the medication. Intravenous bisphosphonates can give fever and flu-like symptoms after the first infusion, which is thought to occur because of their potential to activate human gamma-delta T cells. Chemistry and Classes Bisphosphonates, when administered intravenously for the treatment of cancer, have been associated with osteonecrosis of the jaw, with the mandible twice as frequently affected as the maxilla and most cases occurring following high-dose intravenous administration used for some cancer patients. Some 60% of cases are preceded by a dental surgical procedure, and it has been suggested that bisphosphonate treatment should be postponed until after any dental work to eliminate potential sites of infection. A number of cases of severe bone, joint, or musculoskeletal pain have been reported, prompting labeling changes. Recent studies have reported bisphosphonate use as a risk factor for atrial fibrillation in women. The inflammatory response to bisphosphonates or fluctuations in calcium blood levels have been suggested as possible mechanisms. Until now, however, the benefits of bisphosphonates, in general, outweigh this risk, although care must be taken in certain populations at high risk of serious adverse effects from atrial fibrillation. FDA has not yet confirmed a causal relationship between bisphosphonates and atrial fibrillation. In large studies, Women taking bisphosphonates for osteoporosis have had unusual fractures in the femur in the shaft of the bone, rather than at the femoral neck, which is the most common site of fracture. However, these unusual fractures are extremely rare compared to the common hip fractures, and the overall reduction in hip fractures caused by bisphosphonate far outweighed the unusual shaft fractures. There are concerns that long-term bisphosphonate use can result in oversuppression of bone turnover. It is hypothesized that microcracks in the bone are unable to heal and eventually unite and propagate, resulting in atypical fractures. Such fractures tend to heal poorly and often require some form of bone stimulation, for example bone grafting as a secondary procedure. This complication is not common, and the benefit of overall fracture reduction still holds. In cases where there is concern of such fractures occurring, teriparatide is potentially a good alternative because it does not cause as much damage as a bisphosphonate does by suppressing bone turnover. Three meta-analyses have evaluated whether bisphosphonate use is associated with an increased risk of esophageal cancer. Two studies concluded that there was no evidence of increased risk. Pharmacokinetics All bisphosphonate drugs share a common PCP backbone. Mechanism of Action The 2PO Three groups covalently linked to carbon determine both the name bisphosphonate and the function of the drugs. Bis refers to the fact that there are two such groups in the molecule. Etadronate 1, Clodronate 10, Teludronate 10. 
The long side chain determines the chemical properties, the mode of action and the strength of bisphosphonate drugs. The short side chain, often called the hook, mainly influences chemical properties and pharmacokinetics. Of the bisphosphonate that is resorbed or infused, about 50% is excreted unchanged by the kidney. The remainder has a very high affinity for bone tissue, and is rapidly adsorbed onto the bone surface. Pamidronate 100, Neridronate 100, Olpadronate 500, Alandronate 500, Ibandronate 1000, Rhizdronate 2000, Zoladronate 10000. Bisphosphonates are structurally similar to pyrophosphate. A bisphosphonate group mimics pyrophosphate's structure, thereby inhibiting activation of enzymes that utilize pyrophosphate. Non-nitrogenous Nitrogenous History Bisphosphonate-based drug specificity comes from the two phosphonate groups that work together to coordinate calcium ions. Bisphosphonate molecules preferentially stick to calcium and bind to it. The largest store of calcium in the human body is in bones, so bisphosphonates accumulate to a high concentration only in bones. Bisphosphonates, when attached to bone tissue, are ingested by osteoclasts, the bone cells that break down bone tissue. There are two classes of bisphosphonate, the N-containing and non-N-containing bisphosphonates. The two types of bisphosphonates work differently in killing osteoclast cells. Non-N-containing bisphosphonates The non-nitrogenous bisphosphonates are metabolized in the cell to compounds that replace the terminal pyrophosphate moiety of ADP forming a non-functional molecule that competes with adenosine triphosphate in the cellular energy metabolism. The osteoclast initiates apoptosis and dies, leading to an overall decrease in the breakdown of bone. This type of bisphosphonate has overall more negative effects than the nitrogen-containing group, and is prescribed far less often. N-containing bisphosphonates Nitrogenous bisphosphonates act on bone metabolism by binding and blocking the enzyme farnesyl diphosphate synthase in the HMGCOA reductase pathway. Bisphosphonates that contain isoprene chains at the R1 or R2 position can impart specificity for inhibition of GGPS1. Disruption of the HMGCOA reductase pathway at the level of FPPS prevents the formation of two metabolites that are essential for connecting some small proteins to the cell membrane. This phenomenon is known as prenylation, and is important for proper subcellular protein trafficking. While inhibition of protein prenylation may affect many proteins found in an osteoclast, disruption to the lipid modification of RAS, Rho, RAC proteins has been speculated to underlie the effects of bisphosphonates. These proteins can affect both osteoclastogenesis, cell survival, and cytoskeletal dynamics. In particular, the cytoskeleton is vital for maintaining the ruffled border that is required for contact between a reserving osteoclast and a bone surface. Statins are another class of drugs that inhibit the HMGCOA reductase pathway. Unlike bisphosphonates, statins do not bind to bone surfaces with high affinity, and thus are not specific for bone. Nevertheless, some studies have reported a decreased rate of fracture and slash or an increased bone mineral density in statin users. The overall efficacy of statins in the treatment of osteoporosis remains controversial. Bisphosphonates were developed in the 19th century but were first investigated in the 1960s for use in disorders of bone metabolism. 
Their non-medical use was to soften water in irrigation systems used in orange groves. The initial rationale for their use in humans was their potential in preventing the dissolution of hydroxylapatite, the principal bone mineral, thus arresting bone loss. Only in the 1990s was their actual mechanism of action demonstrated with the initial launch of Fosamax by Merck and CO.